What's up everybody? This is Naresh with Schizofish. If you're like me and you wanted to up your game in filmmaking, you may have invested hundreds of dollars into a gimbal. Maybe you decided to get yourself one of these, a Moza Air 2. How you doing buddy? Good? So let's just pretend for a second that you just unboxed your Moza Air 2. You're so excited, you spent hundreds of dollars and you can't wait to set it up and get started. Except you set it up, you get everything ready, it gets balanced and you turn it on just to realize that it's not actually turning on. Nothing happens. You just slowly feel your hundreds of dollars slipping away into an invisible trash can. So this is what happens to me, but have no fear. I will show you exactly what I did in order to fix mine and hopefully it helps you too. And just a quick side note, I did get mine refurbished. It was a lot cheaper than buying it straight from the manufacturer. But if you have a warranty, that's always good. So what did Dr. Google tell me? Cause of the problem? Moza batteries. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about these bad boys saying they just didn't work right. Particularly, people online were saying that when they put the batteries to charge, three of them were red, one would light up green, indicating that one was charged and the other three had to charge still. The problem came around when they all light up green and you put it in the gimbal and the gimbal still wouldn't start. Just FYI, these are special batteries. They are not your normal AA batteries. The model is 18650, 3.6 volts. Goodson sells them online, the replacement for all four. It comes out to a hefty $40. But you can find them cheaper on Amazon. Link below. So I'm here thinking, damn, do I have faulty batteries? Now I just spent $100 on this gimbal. I wasn't about to go outside and fork up more money for batteries when I wasn't even really sure that was the issue. So what did I do? Got my handy dandy multimeter. Basically connected the red to the positive and the black to the negative and had it measure the volts of the battery. The batteries are, about to, are supposed to have around 3.7 volts. So if you're reading or reading close to that, then the batteries are working. I needed to make sure they had a charge and my batteries checked out. So now that I knew the batteries were fine, I plugged them back in and kept fiddling with the power button. What I did find was there was a light on the inside of the roll arm. Right there between the separations of the material above the lock. This told me that the Moses circuitry was receiving power. So maybe what wasn't working was the Moses display. The next thing I did was check it out with the USB cable, connected it to the computer. So my immediate thought was let's fix the firmware. So on the computer I had to download the Moza Assistant from the website and also the drivers. For some reason the Moza program would not detect the Moza Air 2. So basically indicating to me that I needed to install the firmware in order to get the USB port to work to install the firmware. The computer just wouldn't recognize it, there was no way to get the firmware on there. Rock hard place. So I had one last ditch effort and that was to test out the Moza Air 2's Bluetooth connection. Using the phone, I had to download the Moza Master app. Do note that you need the app in order to connect to the gimbal via Bluetooth. I navigated the app in order to reinstall the firmware. Lucky for me, it looked like it was working and it was on its way to recovering its full functionality. Is that even a word? Functionality? So here's the final product guys and as you can see, the gimbal is working just fine. I don't have much other gimbals experience to compare it to, but the reason I got the Moza Air 2 is because of the autofocus feature where you can set the autofocus points with the autofocus motors. Not, it's not on here at the moment, but that was a key reason I bought it and the fact that it can hold up to nine pounds of weight. Definitely one of the coolest purchases I made for our filming, definitely upgraded my footage. So that was my story and my process. Hopefully you get something out of that and that was my little quick fix. If you find this video informative and you wanna see all the cool footage that we're gonna make where we put this baby into action, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there.